Tanya has always been late. Nah, not really. Only since she's been seeing him. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot! Find the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. Heard that so many times they sound like a broken record. Same thing again and again. Your head is still out with your new boyfriend. I don't even know why I bother talking with you. <sighs> Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, you were in diapers. I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <sighs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her.
by Green on a big play. And out comes Buxton. Here's a lead pass, Edison in alone. He tries, and Robert saves. Coming up 15. Beach checked on the play. Fights for in the corner. It centers it. Stopped by Rutherford. Right around the boards, controlled by Cashman. And Esposito with a quick shot at Rutherford. What a beautiful save. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hey, Tanya, you up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know, haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it, Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him, find Megan. Relax, I'm on it. Do me a favor, quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and... Where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! Are you in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan?
I can't breathe. Won't you spare me over till another
Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, You'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts? So much depth. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good feeling. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. my phone. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <coughs> Come on, you can do it. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream, it was so real flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Why can't we stay here? No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. You're wrong. We stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? I get that you're the professor here, but that doesn't mean you can tell us what to do. I never saw you step up when there was a problem at college. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe he didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off.
Daniel and Angela should be here soon. There's a chain around the gate. Now what do we do? Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's gonna... This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> Holding out good for a rusty chain. Let's give it another go. Two, one, push! Here, let me have a shot. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> now that's how it's done. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? You take yourself far too seriously. Lord knows why. <coughs> Go ahead and choke. I'm just making casual observations here. Nothing wrong with that. Apart from it being real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were... Not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no-ho. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Hey, are you coming? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is on to us. We're all a little she knows. Right Maybe back off everyone a little, huh? What's up? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Like where? Nothing unusual. Relax. I said nothing about us. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside?
Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? Come look at this. Come on. How about a game? Seriously? You want to throw darts? Don't be like that. Ten bucks. Says you can't hit the bullseye. No, I don't want your money. Just a distraction. Okay. Fair enough. Warm up with an easier shot. Go for the single 20. Guess we're finished with darts then. Hey, what's up? Kind of weird, right? Stuck her with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. We're in deep shit here, and those guys are no help. Don't beat around the bush. Say what you're really thinking. You doing okay? But I felt better. Nobody's feeling that great right now. Never thought I'd hear you not have an opinion. Let's go and check in with the others. See if you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Oh, yeah. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. Mm. Okay, so you can play a little. We all drink too much from time to time. You should leave me. Now what? Can I get some peace around here? There a phone in here? There must be a phone in the bar. Lon's dead. You're shitting me. Well, Ugh, everything here seems dead. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Cool. Thanks for the help. Yeah. We appreciate you helping us. That is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Line's dead. <clears throat> this place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Some free advice. Lay off the drink. I could care less about ancient history. Sure thing. <laughs> Gotta keep a clear head, right? Christ. This is practically parchment. From the 70s.
Can we just get out of here? Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. Really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top-up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. Maybe it was the bus driver. I definitely saw someone. 100%. What did you see? It was a child, I saw. A child? Now you're really screwing with me. I know what I saw. Let's just catch up with the others, okay? You two, we need to stick close. Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Wait for us! What is that? Come and take a look at this.
What is it? I'm not sure. Let me take a closer look. What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say, truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless. Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. 
What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. We better keep an eye on them. Quiet. Just some animal mosing around in the woods. What kind of animal exactly? That? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What's up? You two okay? After what we went through back there, we're both a considerable distance from okay. I'm sorry I lost touch with you in the fog. Shows we need to stick close to each other. Let's not turn this into an argument.
Hey, something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Maybe we should run for it. Ah! Uh. You okay? I'm fine. We have to do something. What the hell do you suggest? If you can't deal with this, then I will. Do something! Anything! Get your hands off me, right now! Hey! You two! <gasps> this is not good. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Get off me! John! What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. That's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions! Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm a John. 
I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Hold up. That must be what we heard just now. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps big time. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be caught. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here, right now. Hey, do not abandon me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here.
Time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. <laughs> 